together with our local partners and government agencies, uh, we go into the fields, collect this data, compile it, analyze it, and present it in a, in a way that you know, everyone can understand. And so this year's report card in the, showed uh, an improvement in the refilled index um, going from 2.0 to 2.5. Right? It's still classified Belize in the poor category, but the silver lining is it's an improvement. It's a significant improvement, especially looking at indicators of the herbivorous fish and commercial fish biomass that saw a rebound from 2021 numbers. Um, so this is a good sign, and we believe that there is more that could be made in terms of reef health, and we hope to to to, to have a collaborative effort across our local our local net, uh, our local network of uh, partners uh, in terms of addressing this issue of trying to improve reef health. A major challenge right now, especially affecting the coral reef, is the high level of heat stress. Um, NOAA announced the fourth global coral reef bleaching event, and we're still feeling the effects of that in, in 2024. Um, this has significantly affected the coral cover within the country and across the entire Mesoamerican region. And this is, so this is the main result of climate change. And climate change um, accompanied with other stressors that we as humans may introduce into the environment being poor water quality, being environmental deg degradation, you know, this also helps to reduce the reef.